able to be on today's show. It is always a pleasure to have you. I thank you, King Phoenix. And yes, we have a new face. Adigun, Adigun. It is a pleasure to have you. On African Youth Parliament, we, di we discuss things that most people shy away from. On African Youth Parliament, we like to talk about things that concern Africa, problems that affect Africa, problems that are ingenious to Africa, in fact. And we have always done this. And we even profess solutions to most of them. We, we bring out our own opinions. We say what we think, what we know, and we bring it down and suggest it to everybody. And it's always a pleasure to have everybody here. So last week, we had a very interesting discussion and a very good conclusion as well. And today, we even have a very much more important thing to discuss. And I am very happy that you have joined us today. Remember, I am your honorable host, Damain. So firstly, before we continue, we want to appreciate Dudu Spray FM, the first and only Pan-African radio for this wonderful opportunity. Without Dudu Spray FM, I'm sure we can have this opportunity at this particular time in space. So I say a very big thank you to Dudu Spray FM and a very big thank you to everyone who is joining us today. Today, we are talking about the importance, the importance of drums in Yoruba slash African societies. The importance of drums in African societies. The reason why we included Yoruba is because Yoruba is the most, is very, very popular with drums. Many other African countries, of course, are very popular with drums too. Yeah, but Yoruba is very popular with drums. So once we understand the importance of African uh, to drums, the importance of drums in Africa, the importance of drums to Africans, the importance of drum in our societies. What do drums mean? What do drums do? So as an as an introduction, now, I'm, I'm going to explain a few things. We all know what a drum is. <laughs> of course we do. Drums, according to uh, most people, according to what we see, know what we met, drums are very, very particular to Africans. In Africa, drum is what we use the most. We know there are other musical instruments, of course, we are, uh, the Western instruments, but when it comes to Africa, drums are the number one things. Drums are so important that they take over the culture. Drums are important individually as Africans and collectively as Africans. They're important in our society. Drums are used for communications. They're used for passing very specific um, knowledge. They're used for passing very specific info. The kind of drum you play will signify what is going on. You don't just play a particular drum. You play a particular drum during naming ceremony. Drums are used for rituals. They are used for rites. They are used during some particular traditions. You know, drums are used for weddings. Some are used for death. Some are used to welcome a newborn baby. Some are used to mark the passing of an ancestor. Some are used to mark peace. Some are used to want the cause to be crowned. Drums are played. Specific drums at specific times through specific means. Oh, please, you can mute. Thank you. Okay. So now, in some... Please, you can mute. Thank you very much. So in some... Countries now, when a particular king is to be crowned, a kind of drum will be played. When a king dies, a particular drum will be played. You don't just play any drum at any time. And that is what we that is what we do in Africa. In Africa, our drums are very important to us. In Africa. So what is a drum now? You know, like in a drum now, we know we have three specific spirits. We have three spirits in the drum. Three parts of the drum, so of course. Uh, first thing, the spirit of the tree. Every drum is carved from, not every drum, but most drums are carved from woods. Though we know that the body of some drums are made from clay, some even from bronze, some from metals, different metals, but usually they are gotten from wood. So when, so the spirit of the tree from which the drum is made, the spirit of the animal 
from which uh, from which the skin for the drum is taken and the spirit of the person that carves the drum. So those are the three major spirits in the drum that they honor. So in fact, they use particular skins for some particular drums. You don't just take a particular skin, you can like the skin of a deer, you use it for some particular drums. The skin of done justice to drums and everything. Then you know drums are beaten with ends, some are beaten with stick, some are tapped with rubbers. So drums are very, very, very crazy and and very, very deep. They have deep meanings. And it is not just about the entertainment. Drums are beyond entertainment. So, but now, what does drum mean to Yoruba people? What are the importance of these drums? What do they see in our culture? How do they tell us apart? How does it make Africa significant? How can it say this is an African, this is not an African? I know there's a new evolution in drums now. And this is even causing a bot. It is causing a bot. It is causing a little a change. It is causing some negativities even in our system, in Africanism, in being Africa, in our culture, in our society. Because now they are replacing drums, skin drums, with uh just nylon with tarpaulin with whatever with me other membranes other artificial membranes instead of the natural membrane so what does this say about africa are we getting westernized in that way too are we getting enslaved in that way too even in some churches you can't use a drum that is made from animal skin and you know so what had This mean to Africa because we know how important drums are. Your, your own opinion in all this. Express your opinion. Let's know, let's know what you think about all these things. So let's call on Ajokade first. Please, Ajokade, what do you think about this? <laughs> it's so good to see you, by the way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, I love your smile. Oh, sorry, I'm going to shoot. Okay, you are you are muted, please. You are muted. Hello. Hello. Oh yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Hi, good. we can hear you. Uh, you to, now. To, uh, good day, ladies and gentlemen, wherever yeah. you did this one at the first and only truly Pan African radio. Please, you can support us. You see that we here, we know the form. We are just doing it like <laughs> they send us, and it's it's not been easy, but we will build Africa. We would rebrand Africa and we would create the community we want. It's not easy, it's not easy, but we would. So please support us. Go to our website, www.dudusprey.com, and then please support us. That's just what I want to say. So, drums, you know, anytime something originates from Africa, there's a way the white tend to try like uh, see it was reportedly you know this kind of reportedly purportedly but if it's now if now we invoke they will say it was so those are some of the what do we call it now conspiracies against us Hello. okay so it is widely believed that the the jembe drum has its origin from the western african so drums came from West Africa in 1300 AD. That was what was reported, widely reported. So this, all these things, you'll be wondering, why is it that when it is Africa, they will say reportedly, purportedly, and they are not just cool to tell it that, okay, 
we started this. Drums and even the brass band started from us. The brass band. There is this thing if you if you those who have seen bigger than Africa, the documentary, you would understand what I'm talking about. So drum is is important to us. In fact, it is the sound of our time. It is the sound of our culture. It is the sound. The moment they start beating it, the moment they start beating it, you, there's a way. It is our spirit elevator. So why will you take that away from us? Well, I do not blame them. I blame the our fathers. When you to Solenu, that means the day you lose your home, the day you forget your roots, that day, you know, the suffering part one, extra vegansa, has begun. So we are the junction that we need to ask ourselves, what do I do to ensure? So in fact, it is, it is good now, I, I would plead with every one of us. Let's go learn how to make the skin drum, how to beat the skin drum so that we will preserve it. Let's challenge ourselves. Between this year and next year, you must learn how to, you know, beat. Either you are from the Ayongalu or not. Either you are from the lineage of people who beat the drum or not. We are at the point where our culture is threatening, our existentiality is threatening. Who we are is threatened, so we must do everything to preserve it. The drums, they have the drums they beat. Some of us, we don't even know. There are drums that only come out when the king dies. There are drums that the king only, only dance to. A king does not dance to every drum. So there are drums that are beaten when there is a war. Same thing with our flute. There is a, the Daguro flute in copyright to the owner it's awesome we use it every time we are hearing news you know and they, maybe the news has an element of war we keep it is spiritual for us at judo spirit the dagunro flute so that wars on the continent of africa wars across the globe we stop so you see our drums have spiritual connotation they are not just for entertainment they, they, they are, these drums is who we are, belong to us and we must preserve them. Thank you so much. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, you know, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to always hear you speak. Yes. Drums are just so, so wonderful. But, you know, even in many other African, I, you know, I can mostly speak about Yoba being like with the fact that I'm a Yoba person and that is, is what I know. And I know more of Yoba, like what I've seen, what I've heard. You know how they use drums to summon spirits? What they, how they use drums to summon souls? In fact, now, the gong gong, we all know, know of the gong gong, the talking drum. <clears throat> the talking drum, how they, they play it, and you know, it's like someone is speaking. There is of the bata. Bata is so powerful. They even say, you know, shongo, it is linked with shongo, linked to shongo. And when you play bata drum, shongo moves. They even use drums to summon rain. Like there's a way, there's a pattern you play, there's a melody you play on a particular drum, maybe on a particular day, I don't know, that can summon rain, it can make rain fall. So, in fact, it is believed just like, you know, drums can usher the spirit of the dead, it can usher them into our own world. So, it is echoing, please. And this is just so wonderful, you know, we can, we've seen this, we've heard of these things, and it is just so wonderful. But I know we're now facing so, okay, before we discuss, before we go further, let's just call King Phoenix. So, King Phoenix, what do you have to say about these African drums? What do you know? What do you want to say? Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Honorable Host, for this opportunity. And thank you to this great fan, the first and only Pan African radio. Yes, this is a topic I love very much. Yes. Drums is very, very significant and important in Africa because drums, just like what my mom Majokiadi said, drums is not just for entertainment. It has many importance, it has many uses. For example, now we can use drums to summon spirits, just like what Honorable the mind said. We can use it, it's like now the bata drum, now they said it's meant for Shungu. Even Ogun loves bata as well. We use them to summon spirits, we use them to do many things. And because this sound of drum is something that it motivates, it inspirates people, it inspires people easily. It's a very good instrument. And drum is something that without drum, I don't think music can flow easily. And also, sometimes gonna just keep beating drums. I mean African drums and all these foreign drums like drum sets. I mean our whole local drums. If they keep beating them at times, imagine a combination of gong gong, bata, and dun dun together. They keep beating them, beating them without music. It moves someone, like it inspires someone easily. We use them to, for example, now just like the kings you now. There are some certain tribes in Africa that, especially in Yoruba land, that the king, it's the sound of drum that wakes up the king. The king doesn't wake up himself. They need to keep drumming until the king wakes up. And just like what Ajoki had said, there are some type of drum that the king dance to. If the king is there, there are some drums they beat. Well, there are war drums as well. So each drum beats the melody and the type of drum. It also signifies the type of like the type of occasion that is going on. We have a drum used to welcome a new child. When someone is dead, we have a drum we use. And again, they do say that Yoruba land, the Yoruba tribe is the only tribe that has the drum that can make a talking sound, which is the talking drum. That's gong gong. Gong gong, imagine a drum that can make a talking sound, that can talk in Yoruba, such like something very good. And imagine now when we go to churches or when we go somewhere, when they use the talking drum, even me myself, I dance a lot. I dance a lot when they beat the talking drum. It's very good. Even this drum they call Agbamole. Like now, I teach in my school now. They use these normal school drum, normal school drum, normal school drum. But there was a day the drum just got damaged. Then we have this Agbamole. There's a drum we call Agbamole in Yoruba land. Many people will know it. So I just started beating it. Everyone danced more because the sound is brought out was different from what the other one was bringing out. A drum that we can use to bring out a talking sound easily. There's something we call alujo. We use this talking drum to do many things. And at times, you know, there are some drums that they only come out once in a year when they want to do some certain festivals. You beat them. If you don't, if you beat them on once a year, it's causing a problem. So drums go, they are actually attached. So many things. Drum is not just African drums. It's not just drums. It's not just for entertainment. It's not just for fun. It signifies many things. It signifies many things, just like that. Or imagine a, an Orisha that left his shrine and went somewhere else. When they discovered it was his drum, they used to summon him back to bring him back. They just started drumming and started reciting his orichi. They started playing the drum. They kept on beating the drum until it came out. Or just like Shongo, no, I just keep beating the bata drum. There's something people normally say about Shongo, that I do hear about Shongo, which is the god of fire in Yoruba land, that if they send Shongo to attack someone, if the person is a bata drummer, Shongo will never strike the person. Like Shongo will never attack a bata drummer. You will never attack the house of a bata drummer. Even if you're not a bata drummer, as long as you have that bata drum, because that drum is Shongo's drum, he will never attack. He will never strike you because that's the drum that moves him that he loves that sound and many things like that. So drums is very important to me. My own definition of drum, I can say, is an instrument, like an instrument that a very important instrument that moves, that inspires hosts, that inspires human spirits and many things. A very significant instrument that is good for us. Very, very significant instrument. So thank you very much, Ray Bruce. Thank you very much, Do This Free FM, for this chat. All right, thank you very much, King Phoenix. Yes, once again, a very special thanks to everybody who is present here today. A very special thanks to you, King Phoenix. A very special thanks to you, Ajoki Adi. A very special thanks to you, Adi. It is good to have you here. Yeah, I understand you have said you observed today. Then. Okay, but it is very cool. It is very good to have you here. King Phoenix, thank you very much for your contribution just now. <clears throat> so, 
yes, about drums, you know, African drums are, are very good. Okay. Um, okay, so African drums are very unique. They are very spectacular. You know, I was at the palace of King of Jigun. I've forgotten the name of the current king, but I was at his palace just ahead, uh, King Olomi Tutu of Vijegun land. Only Jigun of Vijegun. I was at his palace just last month. Yes. And there was a drum I saw. I was with I was there with my mom. I saw this drum and the drum was already ebbing away. You know, it was already like, you know, that insects are already touching this. And I I was like, ah, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. I was like, this drum looks old. The drum looks very much older than I am, man. Of course, this drum was looking like 100 years or more. The way they tightened it, it looked very well sculpted. Beautiful drum. I was like, ha, oh, fine, oh, but what's in there? And I was like, wow, good. I asked my mom, like, mom, what, what is this drum? Like, what is this? And she was like, ah, Leon Shilu Lasson, Tobaba Kuni Koni, Olilu. And I was not like, what if I play it? They said, my mom specifically told me, if you dare play it, you might die on the spot. <laughs> I was like, eh? And then for boy, me show. You understand? That is how powerful those drums are. And I was like, what if I play? What if you play it, Ken? What if you, who are you to play it? You know? So that is how powerful these drums are. <laughs> and that is what they have. When they play, some drums like Batani sing, only Joe Bata, it will move you. My mom also shared an experience with me. My mom is Odile uh, Ifalotiwa, but she she's familiar with this Bata stuff. She used to dance to Bata. Bata, she told me she didn't learn it. You don't need to learn it, usually. Like, if you are from the family, if you are from that lineage, you do not need to learn it. All you need to do is hear the rhythm. Once you hear the rhythm, you move. You will surely dance. So she now told me that it has been long. She danced, you know, since Christianity. She stopped all those things. And for over, you know, that as at that time, the stuff happened. Over 26, 28 years, she has not heard the beat. She has not danced to it. But then she just heard the sound somewhere. She went for an occasion and some played bata because the occasion had some traditional functions and she heard the beat. She stood up and her body was moving on its own, almost involuntarily. She was just moving. She was dancing, counting the steps. Okay, Sebata. Just like that. That is how spiritual, that is how powerful these drums are, our melodies are. So quickly, I would like, yeah, Mr. Adigun, we would like to hear you. Yes, I've seen your message. And thank you. We'd like you to also share what you know about this. So thank you very much, Mr. Adigun. Thank you. All right. Bring it on. Sorry, please. I'm trying to work on something here. Maybe I'll, I'll hear oh. back, please. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. Okay. Just signal me when you're ready. So that is how powerful our African drums are. You know, drums specifically are now encountering some challenges like some problems what will i use did i use challenge or problems because now you know westerners like these white people i would like to use white people to categorize all of them i know they're not white by skin they're not even white by action they're not even white by by attitude or by attributes they are not white by anything but let's just use the white did i even call that so now yeah the white, the don't... Okay, are you ready now? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Adegu. I am a Yoruba man, and I'm from Mogu State. Okay, I greet everyone, and thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk. I'm in a very busy area right now. They are having parties, so I'll be fast with what I want okay. to say. Thank you. So... Basically, I am from a royal family, actually, so I don't really know much about drums, but I know it's it's not just a thing in Yoruba land here from where I am, and it's not just a thing in Africa. As uh, the host and the co-host and everyone on this uh, Zoom section has said, 
drums are very powerful uh, instrument in the Yoruba, in the in Africa generally. There are certain spirituality that is connected to it. And there are some healings that are with the drums to, that belong to, to certain family. We have a certain family that, that they have their whole life revolving around drums. They are in your family. We have their names like Anyo Bade, Anyo Wale, Anyo B. You know, so for your whole family to sit on, 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 on that, it means a lot. Their spirituality, you're about to say, Ilo Nidun, Kijo, and it's not all drums though, but there are their spirituality, there are healings that, that belong to the Anion family, those that, that have their lineage around drums. So there are ways that, that they... Hello? Can you all hear me? Yes, we can, we can hear you. Uh, yes, we can, sir. Okay. Okay, so there are certain things that they do in their own family that because they have their spirituality around the drums that makes it work for them. And if you don't belong to that family, it can't work for you, okay? That's having said, there are, there, are, there are structures that, there are things we do with drums, a lot of things that we use it to guide footsteps. We, there are drums that you don't drum with hands. There are a lot of things that are attached to, to drums. A lot of spirituality is just the beyond someone from the Western world coming to tell us that they originate drums. It's not, it's not possible. There are drums with marks. There are drums that you perform certain, certain rituals before you drum it. There are drums that you must be involved in some spirituality before you can beat it. There are drums that have patterns. There are drums that even have their own passwords and codes. So you as a Westerner, you can come here and tell me that this is how we do our own thing. We have our own spirituality, okay? For a family to, to, to have their, their, their own lineage around drum, you should know that this is just not a thing in our, in our, in our community, in our world here. Yeah. It, is, it is important. It is, it is symbolic to our, to, our, to our race, to the Africa region entirely, to the Africa, African continent. Thank you very much for, for letting me use this fuel, uh, this medium to share my own view. Thank you very much. That's all. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Adigo. Thank you very much. It's so good to hear you speak. It's so good to hear your opinion, to hear your insights, to have your insight here. It is true, you see. That is why we like African Youth Parliament, because on African Youth Parliament, we can share this. You know, these are some hidden truths that most people shy away from, or some even Yoruba people, some Yoruba people, they are Yoruba, they just push it aside. You know, most people do not understand African as much as they should. They do not even understand what Africa means, what, who Africans are. Africans, everything about us is specific. Nothing is just like that. Nothing is just the way it is. Nothing is just the way it seems. We are not, you know, just like drums now. When you hear drums, like as a Westerner, you feel like, ah, drum, entertainment, elulu kajo. No, not in Africa. Drums, elulu kajo, lulu lulu. You still wonder, you see, just like Adibu said now, about and your family, yes. That is what they study, just like that is their life. That is their life. That is what they study. I'm just, I'm looking at it like, having a faculty or a department of drums or an institution of drums, you know? And this knowledge is passed from father to child, like ancestral knowledge. Imagine that. I'm even sure, you know, I've heard of drums, Omani, Oman, Boni, like they, they give things to the drum. I, I, don't, I don't want to use the word worship because English does not correctly, Hajoki Adib taught me this, English does not correctly interpret Yoruba. If I say oh, I'm born in this and I use worship because worship is not the correct thing. So, oh, and yes, Cypher, welcome. I've been greeting you on the chat box, on chat board, on the chat space. <laughs> so welcome, Cypher. It is very good to have you here. Welcome. So, uh, yes, they perform rituals. I like that. So they perform rituals for drums. <laughs> you be wondering, ah, ritual for drums. 
no, drum is not just drum. It's not just... So, but I'm glad most of us understand it. Like, all of us were on the same page. So now, but there is now... Okay, Saifa, would you like to speak now before we go to the next phase of this conversation? Uh, hello, Saifa. Okay. It's good to see you. All right, you can unmute now so we can hear what you have to say. We're talking about drums, importance of drums, African, with African spirituality, Yoruba societies. Our drums, the ones we used to usher in new things. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Um, we've talked a lot about this drums issue, but speaking about the drums issue now, we know ourselves that drums means a lot to the Yoruba heritage and the Yoruba culture. Because obviously, according to the um, to some Yoruba lineage, the drums are to be worship, adored, and praised. We have some people here that. This one, <laughs> we have some people, like some family, that whenever like they, you see their drum as a particular tool to communicate to their God, you will notice that um um that way, in most people they call them, themselves online it they call themselves and you know, and cool. So they yes. see the drum, a drum, drum. I think that it's very, very essential in the life of the Yorubas in general. And drum is what you can just explain. Some call, call themselves um, Omar Joshua where whenever they listen to the drum or anything, participating to music or culture in general, they dance to the tune always because they are always ready to. They are, always, they are always ready to participate in anything according to their culture because John speaks a lot in culture. Thank you very much, um, Diane Daman. All right, thank you very much, Saifa. It's good to hear your voice. It is good to see your face too. It is good to hear you speak. We like, we love your contribution and we miss you too. So thank you very much. So I do do Square FM, our very own special joke. We thank you. We thank you, King Phoenix. We thank you, Adigun. Oh, yes, drums are used in wars too. You know, drums are used to announce war. And like Ajoke Ade mentioned, she mentioned Arogun. Ah, she mentioned one Arogun something. Yes, people use drums and they let you know that like it is done. Ah, Jamo, you just beat drums. It is used to control the opener. Oh, yes, yeah, so I was even doing a research today and, you know, they said they beat the drums and you can start hallucinating just by hearing the sound of the drums. You can hallucinate. It can put you in the spirit world. It can put you in another world. Like, it can give you the effect of drugs nowadays, you know? You hallucinate. You can see what the drama wants you to see. They will play and they will transfer you into an ast astral world. I don't understand what they do, but they can make you see what they want you to see. Just imagine that kind of spirituality, you know? So these are things that African drums can do, that Africans know. Okay, Hamafin Kwaroko, yes. Drums are also used to send messages, yes. What you beat, you know? Even in events, sometimes, they'll be drumming and they are communicating. In fact, they even use drums to Hamafin Kyoriki. They'll play a particular rhythm for a particular family. That if you are there, like, just like, I, I believe there's a rhythm they play for um, Alade that from where your families will play a particular rhythm for you that you know that ah they'll play a particular rhythm for this kind of people, a particular rhythm for this kind of people. So man play for by like they are playing to praise the Ijebu people. You understand? So, but now we have people who can play drums, probably we still have a few of them. But if we have people who still understand the rhythm. And you buy, yes, you can play the like guy will sing without drums. Our drums are very essential. They are the most important corners of this drum. So, but now we hope to preserve this culture. We hope to make sure this stays the way it is or gets better. Let it get better. I know in Ogo State, 2018, 2019, I don't know if they did 2020 and the rest, but 2018, 2019, there was African Drums Festival. 
a festival and wish even this guy attended. Our very own Wale Shoinka attended. And it was in that event that Wale Shoinka was talking about how they were playing drum and singing the praise of Shongo. And as we were singing it, that was the queen or the wife, uh, yeah, maybe the queen or something. As we were doing that, the, the cloud changed, like the everything changed. The weather changed instantly and everywhere became windy just by playing drums and singing the praise of Shango, of course. So I, I know if you're just singing the praise, I don't know if the effects would have been there, but with the drum, it is backed up. And so just imagine the effect of drums. So Yoruba culture, Africans and drums, there is nothing like that. Yes, they say we use it to praise royalty and that is just how it is. So drums and spirituality, it is very important. So now, buddy, before we conclude, we know that we're not encountering some problems. We welcome you, Miss Stella Ajayi, a Kabo Sanrama, in Wadulati, Niimbi. This is African Youth Parliament, where we discuss things that most people shy away from. We discuss very important things here. Yeah, Kabo, man, it's so good to have you. Yes, ma'am. I'm here, I'm here, yes, ma'am. So today's topic, ma, we're talking about the importance of drums in Yoruba slash African societies. Like drums are very important to us and drums is a very important corner, a very important pillar of Yoruba spirituality, of being Yoruba gone, you understand? So now, like we said before, you know, the spirit of these drums, like we believe drums have three spirits at least. That is the spirit of the animal that they used that is the skin the membrane the spirit of that animal that is why they don't just use any animal they call it mugala gala become another one they can use goats they can use any particular one, but they don't just use any animal there is a particular animal for a particular drum okay cypher wants to say something okay yeah please in two minutes cypher thank you very yeah. much Oh, so grandma, grandma, I can't was saying, well, I know Ah, thank you, Ajoka. Thank you. So good to have you. She get go my cabo, ma. Thank you. Okay, so. I'm sorry, grandma. It's my network. I'm and where I am. I'm having issues with my communication, sir. So, as we are saying about the drums, you see, you see um, the drums, the you know, the people that are actually with these drums actually feel trans, like the people from the Christianity, the way they feel they are trans, being I, like they come at BME, some usually feel trans when playing these drums. Sometimes they see their drums as something special, and something um, um, historical and idealistic to some people. So, drums are very, very essential. A lot, okay. A lot of times you see these people like the Bata dancers, they use the drums to communicate with the Shango and some other special things and some other personalities also. The drum, like, do you know if you are not from the drum lineage, you can do some particular drums. And some drums, okay, let, let, let's, let's do like this. Do you know, that might, what if I tell you something about the Ayon, the Ayon family, which is, do you know, if any Ayon family if they give birth to a child, the first day they give it a child, they'll have to go and borrow, borrow sponge, they'll borrow water, they'll borrow soap to bake the newborn baby. They'll, they'll say, if they do not do so, the child, um, the child, like, so the child will be able to, will not be able to feel shy from playing anywhere. So I want to you. Um, and uh, even, uh, even to the clothes, everything. That's their culture. And when the child is growing up, he will be set, he or she will be set to creating his or her own drum. From there, um, I need to look. So it's also like you know, see, I'm not showing you. It's feeling is that's like a normal natural gift that they are just blessed with. Drum is very very essential. A lot in your back culture. There are some things that I even know about the drums. They use the drums also to invoke some special spirits and to greet the um, reality also. So let me just. All right. Thank you very much, Saifa. Thank you very much. It is it is so good 
character. You know, okay, maybe because our time is fast spent already, we plan to spend just 30 minutes. So, but in case you still have anything to add, but by next week, we'll come. Uh, Saifa, you can mute. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can see Saifa's comment here. He's saying, like, the Yailu, of course, Moda Bata drum is the largest of the set of drums to, to, to for used in the used by the Uba people. Yes. Our, our drums can summon and do a lot of things, and I'm sure we have made this, we've established this truth. So now, but one thing we have to even think about now is when last did you see a drum? I would like to ask you, Ajoka Day, ask you, our grandma, ask you, King Phoenix, ask you, Mr. Adigo, and ask you, Cypher, when last did you see a Yoruba drum? When last? Lori, you know, did you see any of these drums? And how many drums can you even recognize? This is the fast growing problem. The problem is spreading wide. I don't know. If we can't say we've seen this drum, we've seen, if we've not seen other things, if we can't say that, then what will our children say? Because now the westernization of Africa now is becoming worse. To the next thing now, they're they discouraging. Oh, Baba, you are village of Ube. Am I? Am I down? <laughs> okay, so now, we Okay, those of us that live in the city, in good city, places like Lagos, you know, <laughs> we are talking about exposed people like us. <laughs> okay, all right. So lucky you, Saifa, lucky you, you are very lucky. So now our children, we do not know if they will even see those drums. Will we have to go to the museums now say, that is, uh, I say, uh, that is, uh, go, go, say, go, go, say, go, here. If we don't want that to happen, then we have to make sure we can preserve this. We have to make sure we can, we, we, we have to make sure it does not go. Make sure these people don't delete us. <clears throat> then, how many Anyon do you even know? Like this person will say, ah, Emi, Anyon Wale Lu Komi, Anyon Dele, Anyon Deji Lu Komi. I am from the Anyon family and I am doing this. The society of the Yoba people is so structured. You know, when I'm talking of structure, yes, Yoba societies are well structured. We have people that they are fishermen, no matter what they do, they are fishermen. We have people that they are hunters by family, by lineage, they are hunters. We have people that what they do is they fix drums, they make drums. We have people who are like their own is pottery, they are pottery, like pottery lunch. So Everybody has something they are doing. Some people, they are, apart from all of us being Agbe, but some people hearing surnames like Agbe Loba, Agbe, Agbe something, Agbe something, Agbe something. You know that these ones, they are specifically farmers. Even in that farming, you see that some people, that is why Trade by Bata succeeded so well. Because some people in their own family, they don't plant Jukokolo, only Kokoniwa. Depending on your state, again, you know that your state will favor Koko. Your own state will favor cashew. Like John's side now, he said it's cashew. Only cashew ni won. Some people, their own is banana or get dead and bim bim. Their own is inyon, like issue. Do you understand? So we have this structure, but now only cocoa, yeah. So all these things now are now getting high. They are getting out of hands. People don't want to associate again. Then with the inception and as in the bringing in of religion. Ah, voila. You know, religion now start telling us that you shouldn't use this drum. You shouldn't use this drum. How dare you tell me not to use this drum? Do you want to erase my identity? I am a Yoruba person. No Do you want to erase my identity? You understand? Then for this thing, now on keyboard, me and King Phoenix are always arguing this in my church. I'm only arguing just to, you know, so that he can talk. I mean, we are on the same side. But I, I need him to just talk so I can know what he's thinking. He's always talking about eh, hey, me, our own church. We don't use drum. We don't use drum. Say mini Gioni. He am the pastor. So because now they have not programmed some sounds on the keyboard. Like you can hear the sound of gong gong, you can hear the sound of omele, you know, but it is never the same. It is artificial. So artificial. So these pastors are telling us that you can use the keyboard to play it. 
but don't bring the live drum to church. What is that? So it is not about the sound of the drum. It's about the drum itself, what the drum carries. So now I can see Ajokade's hands up. So Ajokade, please give us your insights. We have about 10 minutes more. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh, no. hey, when we say wala day, na di wala na don't see. <laughs> okay, let me. My husband is a drummer, so I'm glad. My husband plays drum. So I'm, I'm one of the lucky ladies that see somebody who who breaks drum, who leaves drummy, like all all about him, and uh, he, he's just a drummer. He plays so well, and I, yeah, I'm lucky, lucky me. So I, and I, there's a place not too far from where I stay, where they make drums. So I guess I'm going to do a bit of documentary for us to see later on. So I see drums every day. Like, that I, that I go for my work early in the morning. I see them. I, in fact, I see saw a drum two days ago. Yes, when we went outside to give people food before the general election in Nigeria. So I see drum, and anytime I see a drummer carry the gong gong, I see the gong gong a lot. So I'm always excited because it is, it shows me like my identity and I can relate with it. So now, let us, they have taken so much away from us. Because right now you will see somebody say, I am Jason. Jason Tofumi. It is Ayon Tofumi. Oh, Ogun Tofumi. Shongo Biji. Jason Biji. And then some of us will change to, like my Aliaja now, Tara too. Instead of maybe Omowumi, Oyin Damola. Ola Dele. So we are losing our names, we are losing our identity, we are losing our cultures. And that is why we are at the point where we have to we, we cannot leave the drum issue to the ions alone. Because most of them, like you will say in your church that you don't play drums. But they have the, the percussion. They have the percussions on the on the keyboard that they bought so it is it is a big deal for us so we have to work together to preserve these drums we have to preserve the drums another one is the fact that we need to teach our children you need to teach your child to understand that being a drummer is not bad it's not a it's like it is not local. Let us go back to the villages, develop the villages. You know, the westernization is destroying us. It's taking away our identity. Like yesterday now that they were having the election in Nigeria, there are drums that would have been played. You know, if it's a, a Yoruba community, a Yoruba settings alone, and it will naturally call the people out. The people will be will be, you know, we saw the turnout. So westernization is not doing us any good. Yes, we learned to Igbo, but now we are dressed like them, we talk like them, we eat like them, and we are losing who we are. And our land is rejecting us. I'm having it with my connectivity. I say a very big thank you. It's great to be here, and I am proud to be an African. Thank you, Ma. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I am also very proud to be an African, an African who has culture, real culture. Okay, so we are rounding up shortly because of our time. We can have a part two of this on, on Sunday again. So we have to meet again on Sunday to have a part two because, like we said, we have to look for a way to just get this out. Course, but maybe not necessarily. You know, I want to show up. I know I need to view. I'm with my mom, see, and yes, yeah. Camera, you. 
I know still am now. I get them. <laughs> okay. So we really appreciate everybody for today's show. Next week, we hope to just talk a little bit about this more before we move on to the next topic. You know, like, like Ajoke Ade has challenged us. It is not just about the and your family. It is also about us. You know, the Oibo is the one to ruin us in every way. They want to bring everything away. Everything that that concerns us. Look at my dear, dear. You know, the Berlin conference, I was, they will talk a lot too. Hi, so sweet. Okay, so then you mentioned the Berlin conference again. I don't know if it was on Friday or so. And I went to read about it. And they said it took three months and 15 days when they were, that was Africa, you know, it, you take this place, you take this place. It took that long because they were planning not just to colonize us by anything else, but they started with religion. How we sheepishly believed is something I don't understand. But I'm sure we can correct it here. That is why we have the Dudu Pekins for we, the Africans. And that is why we have African Youth Parliament because anything can change with Africans. And we really appreciate you as an African that is giving your time for this course. For this change, we really appreciate you, our grandma, Grandma Stella Ajayi. We appreciate you very much, Ajoke Ade. We appreciate you very much, um, Cipher Ilerio Lua. We are fair. We appreciate you, Mr. It is so good to have you here today. Your inside, yes. So we do the picking. You can even get our T-shirt to represent Africa. I be do the picking. So please, you can follow us on Dudu Spree FM. Just go on Twitter. You see us, Dudu Spree. Official Dudu Spree, Nualogi, Twitter. Go to our website, yes, I B Dudu Pekin, Emi Damai, Omo Dudu Nimi. So that is our t shirt. You can send us a message on Twitter to get the t shirt. Official Dudu Spree, you will see us there. Just chat us up on Twitter and the street, you get your, delivered to your doorstep, in fact, wherever you are in the world, I'm telling you. So follow us on, like, go to our website, www.dudusprey.com. On YouTube to do do spree FM do do spree we're there just type do do spree to bring it us out, to bring us out so we're there and we can always see us on do do spree and we are very happy to do this we are proud Africans and we always be proud Africans so thank you very much for today's show thank you King Phoenix thank you Adigun thank you Cipher thank you. I, I Okay. 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 And in Barai, the Sinajira, after the Silat being a back to our Nini Abulewa, Tori, and Batoshe, and what you call. I'm for you, I could share one money. Not in Queen, Cogin Lamba, and Bellawa. So I have to go back home and do, um, um, try to talk to the elders at Tokang with my daughter, and John to the alarm so happy, even if it is like one so I say, Goddy. Ah, oh God, we've lost a lot. Hmm. I, 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 I don't know any history, anything. Oh my, i God, we go mountain Can you imagine? We have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. A lot that she as she like she like but long. Has she gone you? Sorry to take your time. That is what we're discussing. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Mm -hmm.
I'm very happy. 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 I'm very you know, I do go, Grandma. Thank you for joining to this show. I yeah, believe we got a fair. We got a fair, you know, we want the same thing. I feel like culture is bad. I feel like it's a shower. 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 They are beyond that. They are beyond that. I have to go back home. I have to go back home. I have to set it up again. Like Baron Long, love machine. You know what I do? 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 African Youth Parliament. Only inspire something like this. You just do something. My bachelor. My bachelor. Okay, Baron Long. That's it, Baron Long. Thank you. That's it, Baron Long. 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 So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much for today's show. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Adibun. Thank you, King Phoenix. Thank you. My very, very special Adjokade. I am your honorable host, Damain. Thank you. This is Do The Spray FM, an African radio.